What's going on, everybody? I'm so excited and so happy to have met you all. Um, first, I'm going to tell you all a little bit about Shareable. Um, so we're Shareable, <laughs> Tom and I. Uh, we're two of the organizing um, team members from Shareable. We've been around since 2009. Uh, we are a news and action media outlet that established a deep history and role in bringing the sharing economy um, to the cultural mainstream in many ways. Um, but something we've sensed um, is that having a more kind of like expressive hand in the solidarity economy also meant having a direct impact on the ground to challenges our communities were facing every day. Um, so we've kind of merged our focus from that place of inspiration and getting folks to, you know, um, have like awareness of different issues that were going on in different communities around the globe. Um, and we're merging that to like action, really activating folks and getting folks really involved in different projects within their community. So this is all um, about like Solidarity Works, our program. This is really where this all comes from and this is where it all stems from. Um, and that's really where y'all come in. Um, one of our objectives is to share what we've learned about sharing and solidarity economies with everyone. And we want to work in uh, collaboration with a kind of like a gang of educators, abolitionists, um, organizers around the globe, right? Um, something that we are creating is um, a series of like digital toolboxes that are packed with accessible and useful learning material to adapt to a variety of social contexts that you can kind of like take home and see how it can fit um, and make a change and a difference in your community. So we are also creating learning communities like this one um, for folks to kind of reach across that distance and find one another um, and begin being a resource of support for one another as we build uh, toward different versions of operations. Um, so we started Solidarity Works with the goal in mind to essentially make the process of building solidarity economy projects in diverse communities more accessible and interactive so that folks don't feel like, you know, change is impossible or don't feel isolated from being able to take action in a very visceral way. So over the years, this program um, will essentially develop a series of something called collabs, <laughs> which are essentially virtual learning series and communities and training grounds packed with like workshops like this one, um, open source learning templates, which you'll have in the future, um, funding and fellowship opportunities and a deep system of support around making solidarity economy projects an accessible venture for everyone. So just really quickly, there are two kinds of collabs. Um, one is more capital intensive with a year long commitment and also has like a fellowship element to it that includes seed funding, a monthly stipend and personalized mentorship, right? So that one is more of a long haul project and we call that our deep collab and our project of focus for that this year is Library of Things. So Tom, if you have a, at any point, you could just drop in um, some info on our Library of Things uh, collab for folks who may be interested. But right now you're in something called our sprint collabs, which are essentially like eight week learning sprints with a focus on less capital intensive community projects, right? And so our first project, our pilot project um, that we're running is the emergency battery collab. And that's what y'all are here for. Um, so I'm so excited to welcome you all to share this space with us, with Shareable um, and with People Power Battery Collectives. Thank you all for coming. I know there was a lot. <laughs>